doctors in our state want the ability to sell certain drugs right from their office. And as of now, Texas is one of four states where this is not allowed at all. KTK State Capitol reporter Steffi Lee has more on proposals at the state capitol exploring changing this law. I'm not a rich man by no means. I mean, you know, I'm, my medical insurance or, you know, gas. I mean, that's the kind of boat that most of us are in. Don Fenton says life as a small business owner often relates to cutting costs. Cholesterol, uh, high triglycerides. It's made uh, to provide coupons. Dr. Chris Larson uses a mobile app to help his patients shop for generic medications at low costs. $10 at Costco. Well, if I were able to dispense the same medication, I could save him money even over what the app might be able to provide for him. Two bills filed at the Texas Capitol would let doctors sell non-controlled substances at their office. And it would be antibiotics or other short-term medications. Sometimes it might be like an anti-inflammatory that's prescription, something like a prescription ibuprofen those sort of short-term medicines. The Texas Pharmacy Association argues this would place a patient's health and safety at risk and says pharmacists are the medication experts. Well, the threat to the practice of pharmacy, I don't see it. But Tom Schnoor with Austin Compounding Pharmacy says there should be several areas lawmakers address before allowing this practice. My biggest concern is proper labeling, packaging, and the infamous making sure there's follow-up and counseling. Steffi Lee, KTK News. And versions of these bills were filed last session, but never made it through the full process. As of now, both bills in the House are pending up in committee.